Dr. John Smith has declared a state of emergency as severe drought continues to affect parts of the UK. For the first time in living memory, domestic taps ran dry, leading to scenes of panic in cities throughout southwest England and Wales, where reservoirs have been empty for months. The Prime Minister assured those affected that the newly appointed Minister for Drought, Tony Blair, would be coordinating the emergency. Hi. How was work? Nightmare. Pediatrics on my case all day. Since when have you cared about my work? I'm gonna run a bath. I thought you said you'd deal with the washing. Yeah, um, I've been working on this new idea, Erica. Sorry, I forgot. I've been a bit distracted recently. I spoke to Grandad. Yeah? You know how important those book signings are. What happened? You could have at least let him know you weren't turning up. I'll call him. You know, once in a while, it would be really nice if you could just remove your head from your ass long enough to realise you're not the only person on this planet. You still haven't told me where you were the other night. Honestly? I can't remember. What's the point in us even trying to work this out if you're not going to bother? Listen, things are going to be different from now on. I promise you. Falling in love with another man's wife, only she's your wife too. <laughs> Do you believe in fate, Professor? Fate? Yeah, fate. Destiny. I don't know. I, I believe there's someone for everyone, if that's what you mean. Exactly. Well, that someone is Ottilie. Drink? Whiskey? Thank you. I hope I'm not keeping you from anything. Oh, don't worry. You're a welcome distraction. Since I retired, I don't get many visitors. Please, carry on. Well, gradually I settled into my new life. To be honest, it could have been worse. I was a successful writer, had a great house, all the trappings. And I was married to a beautiful woman.
How's it going? Good. Well, it'll get better. Thank you. So what do you think? About what? My book idea, The Man Trapped in the Parallel Universe. Why are you asking me? I don't know, I suppose I thought you might have an opinion. You never ask me about your work. Well, I'm asking you now. Mm. Oh. Parallel Universe, it's an interesting idea. It begs a lot of questions. Mm. Imagine if you jumped from one world into another and had to live an entirely different life, like your own, but which had somehow gone down a different path in history years ago. I mean, what would you do? Well, if every choice has a course which must be followed, that means no free will. The whole concept of morality becomes meaningless. What do you mean? Well, think about it. A man walks into a bank. He has a choice. Rob it or pay on a check. <laughs> In your premise, both scenarios will happen. So the man's deprived of choice. Yeah, but one of you will still go to prison. You'll still face the consequences of robbing the bank. True. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Are you coming to bed? Don't be long. Most writers don't laugh at their own jokes. <laughs> I think you'd be bored of it by now. It's not very good, is it? You wrote it. It's all super fast spaceships and sexy alien women. Oh, don't knock it. Paid for all this. That's true. They do seem to have made me a great deal of money, don't they? That's not very attractive, you know, showing off. <laughs> Staying for breakfast. Sorry, I'm late already. Oh, don't forget the drinks. What drinks? The drinks for the party. Colin, you said you'd deal with it. Oh, um, yeah, no, no problem. Who's coming again? How do I know? Are you invited them? <laughs> <laughs> 